what's up everybody? So today I am going to be showing you a really easy way to make your footage just pop, just like really just look a whole lot nicer, and it's really easy, it takes about three seconds. Um, all you're going to do is, once you've got your footage already obviously color corrected perfectly because you watched the last uh, tutorial that I posted, uh, so we're going to do a new adjustment layer, so control alt y to create a new adjustment layer, or you can just do layer, new, adjustment layer, but that's boring, so we use the keys, control alt y Okay, so we're going to name this layer, what? Sharpening fullness. That works. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to effects and presets, and if you don't have it open, you can hit control 5, I believe. Is it control 5? Let me see, control 5. Yes, Control 5 will bring up effects and presets, or you can do window, effects and presets, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's the trick, here's the trick. It's going to be a little bit hard to see in the video, um, just because I render these in such low quality, these tutorials, just because, you know, otherwise they would be giant. So anyway, come over to do effects and presets and type in unsharp mask. Now we're just going to drag this on to the sharpening fullness layer, bring up the um, bring the amount up to 75, and boom, you're done. Now... You're not noticing anything watching the tutorial because you're watching it in a teeny little YouTube window and you can hardly see anything. So I'm going to come in really close so that you can see what a difference this makes. That's what it looks like with it off and that is what it looks like with it on. Now, like I said, it's probably kind of hard to see. So that's why I'm trying to zoom in here so much so you can see. Look, that's the difference it makes. It really, really helps to sharpen things up and just sort of make the picture pop a little bit. And... When you are editing on your monitor in full quality, you will be able to see a difference. See, right there. But, uh, yeah, through YouTube, it's going to be hard to see. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys. It's just a really fast little thing you can do. And it works on most of your clips, but you have to be careful. I usually do 75, like I said, because if you set this up to, for example, 500, it's going to do something like that, which makes your video look like really, really, like, what the heck, that's all pixely and blech. Don't do that. Probably. I guess it actually could be stylistic and you could use that for something or other, but no. Not for this, not for normally. Oh, by the way, I have a website, uh, easyfilmmaking.net, if you want to go check it out. I've got a lot of stuff there on how to, you know, make videos and stuff like that, all, all that good stuff. And also, I post a bunch of free pre-keyed video effects. So if you want to go on my channel and browse around, there you'll see a ton of videos like on a green screen or something like that. Click that, and there will be a download link in the description to the same footage with a transparent background. So you can just drop it right on your footage, not have to key out any kind of background, and yeah, it's free and everything. Just just like Action Essentials 2 from uh, Andrew Kramer on Video Copilot. Anyway, yep, I'm gonna get out of here. Goodbye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I already said bye, but.